story from the Washington Examiner by Paul Bedard. Trump breaks 20-year fouled-up budget gridlock, scores big wins. President Trump, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, and House Speaker Paul Ryan have teamed up this summer to do something that hasn't happened in two decades, write and pass department spending bills instead of lumping everything together into a massive omnibus package. The House and Senate are moving at a brisk pace to pass the appropriations bills, with the Senate leading approving nine of 12. What's more, the Trump administration has pushed through key priorities on wall and Pentagon spending, as well as curbing wasteful programs. Now, the bad news here is the, the budget has gone up. Uh, the budget is going up. I'd like to see it go down. That won't happen until they start to tackle entitlements, which I hope they will. But, but this is important. These omnibus bills are a, a legislative atrocity. I mean, they just are a terrible thing because nobody can negotiate over what you want here and where things go, and nobody takes responsibility for anything. We're talking about the legislature, ta legislature taking responsibility. Trump is doing this, and Mitch McConnell and other leaders in the Senate and Congress are saying that Trump is the reason this is happening because he said, I will not sign another omnibus bill, okay? So I just put that forward to you as they're selling you the chaos, as they're selling you the evil, as they're selling you this absolute garbage of this Russian collusion story, that Trump is doing a good job. Trump is an obstreperous person. He is not the typical president. We didn't try to elect the typical president. He can he can do things when I when he does things that I think are wrong or stupid, and he says things that are stupid. I say so. You know, people yell at me for that all the time. I get flack from that from you guys all the time about that, but I always say so. But he's doing a good job, and we hired him to do a good job. He's not your daddy. He's not your lover. He's not your soulmate, and he's not your role model. He's the president of the United States, and he's doing a good job. America is in the grip of a non-crisis. Okay, <laughs> he's in the grip of a non-crisis. Don't let them affect the way you look at the world.